Right, I've got a pretty basic type of scientific calculator here, nothing special about it, it's as cheap as you can buy pretty much. I'm going to show how he used the numerical methods. Now if you've seen the previous clip, you'll know that we were solving the equation x cubed, I think it was minus 2x, uh, sorry, add 2x minus 15 equals 0, or something like that. And we rearranged to make x the subject, we, well we first showed that there's a root between 2 and 3, and then we rearranged the equation to make x the subject as the cube root of 15 minus 2x. Now how do we use the calculator then to find the roots? Well very straightforwardly, first we type in 3 and press equals. Now that will seem like a really odd thing to do, but now whenever we press the answer button here, it uses that previous answer of 3. Uh, pointless at first, but you'll see in a minute how that works. Now type in the formula, which was the cube root, which I'll type in like this, I'm not very good with this calculator, but the cube root of 15 minus 2 times, now instead of typing 2 times the actual numerical answer, 3 here, I can use the answer button um, instead. Now you might think, why do that? Well there's the number 2.08 that we expected from the previous one. You might say, why do that? Well there's a very good reason why we do that, because now instead of typing in the cube root of 15 minus 2 times that a huge number on the screen, all I have to do is press equals to get the next answer, 2.213, press equals, feeds that number in, gives us that new answer, press equals, feeds that number in, gives us the new answer, and so on, and eventually, actually very quickly, this will settle down to give a, large, a high degree of accuracy, there we've got it, right down to a whole screen full of digits, and that's pretty impressive with hardly any presses of the button. Now how does that work? work. Well, see the previous clip for the, for the theory behind the maths, but what do I do again? The first thing I do is type in my original guess. We know the answer is between 2 and 3, so I'll type in 2 as the original guess this time, see what happens with 2. Now type in the formula, which is the cube root of 15 minus 2x, instead of x, use the answer button, now press equals, 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 and keep pressing equals, and this will settle on the answer. And very quickly we get to that. Now, in an exam we'll be required to give the answer to a certain degree of accuracy. So let's say we want this answer to three decimal places, and we're using three as our original guess. So again, three equals, then type in the formula, which was the cube root of 15 minus 2x, Oops, that's wrong. 2x, how do you go back on this thing? Is it that? 2x, that's good. Um, so that's x0, 3. x1 is 2.0800. I need to write down the whole thing of that. x1 equals that. Then press equals. x2 equals that. 2.21. x3 equals all that. Write down the whole thing. I think that's x3. x4 is that. Now if we want it to two decimal places, we think we're probably there, x5 is that. So 2.19 looks like the answer to two decimal places. To show that 2.19 is the answer to two decimal places, we need to show that there's a root between 2.185 and 2.195. And we do that by putting in the values 2.185 and 2.195 into the original equation. The original equation was... I'll use the answer button again, 2.185. The original equation was uh, x cubed, I think it was plus 2x minus 15, and that answer is negative. And then 2.195, the formula again was x cubed uh, plus 2x minus 15, and that's also negative. Well, that's no good. I think I must have made a mistake somewhere. 